And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the black corner, Simon, freedom fighter, Forrest! Well, here he is, the famous Simon Forrest. Made one of those <laughs> fantastic videos on the internet. Simon Forrest! Simon Forrest, after a weigh-in, trying to have a conversation, <laughs> is possibly the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. And please welcome to the White Corner from Central London, Elson Patrick! rounds. Introducing to you firstly in the black corner, he's representing Rough Diamond Jim. Make some noise for Simon, the freedom fighter, Forrest. And across the ring in the white corner, representing Team 2 Jim in central London, it's Elson Patrick. Your referee in charge of this one, Mr. Chris Battledore. Looking forward to this one as the uh, referee Chris Batchador has his final words with the fighters in the middle. Simon Forrest of Rough Diamond takes on Elson Patrick of Team Chew. A class, three three minute rounds matched at 61.2 kilos to be precise. Safe to say Simon Forrest is never in a boring flat. That's true. <laughs> Here we go. Round one. Look at the height of Elson Patrick. What can you tell me about him, Charlie? Ellison used to fight a lot of K1, recently gone over to uh, Muay Thai. He's had a few Muay Thai fights now. He loves it. He loves the sport of it, but he has that tendency to throw the low kicks, to catch a few things. It's going to be a very good test for him. Simon, a southpaw as well, naturally. Sitting orthodox at the moment. Great referee in there, just dives on him. You wouldn't want Chris Batchador jumping on you, would you? <laughs> With that height of Patrick comes a lot of body to hit and a lot of leg to hit. So it's about how you use it. Can you use your range? Nice little work there from Forrest working around the side. 
little sweep on the leg and then the kick to the body. Yeah, it's very good so far. Tip for tap. Some elbows thrown already. Nelson's looking very relaxed. Yeah, I was going to say, nice measured start, but this is like the start of a five round fight with these two. Nobody's rushing. Well timed low kick there from Elson Patrick. I'd like to see Elson start to block some of those low kicks rather than trying to catch it. Into the clinch. This is where. Will the height make a difference or is Simon Forrest's experience going to prevail? I know Elson's been working his clinch a lot more at Team Chew. I mean, you certainly have to when you're, when you're fighting someone like Simon. <laughs> I was going to say, will he have a choice? He's going to get thrown around otherwise. Good clinches there. Simon's so just looking great, looking composed, taking his time. Everything you expect in a first round of Muay Thai. Yeah, he takes the center stage well, doesn't he, as he's working there for the inside clinch. Now he's in a strong position, holding that left arm down. Working the knees, but I thought he's lining up that right elbow there. You can see it. He thought about it. Yeah, I think he could see it. It was one of those, wasn't it? <laughs> Both Patrick. fighters oozing with confidence. Yeah, Patrick there just favoring sitting on the ropes a little bit and working around the outside and Forrest taking the center ring. The corner of Elson Patrick saying long knee. Yeah, he's got such long limbs. Simon Forrest has got Pratet in his corner, the expert himself. Yeah, nice measured opener there, as you said, Charlie. Yeah. That was very good, that was very good. Let's have a look on the replay, see what... Simon just looked very composed, took his time. Simon, I think, can sense a bit of confidence in the clinch. Yeah, I think he felt like he had a strength there. It's pretty strong at 61 kilos. As we go to the replays here and see some of the action from the first round. There's that well-timed low kick from Elson Patrick. There he is from the other angle. Yeah, Elson just taking his time. Yeah. He knows the level of opponent. Great catch there. Simon's foot just went underneath him. He's leaning back a little bit off that, wasn't he? He didn't get quite over the kick as he stepped in. As we head into round two. Of a scheduled three. Round two. The referee just uh, asking them to wipe the fighters down a little bit. So they haven't got too much on them. Something's gone in his eye. But unfortunately... And he's got something in his eye, but sadly, this is Muay Thai, and the referee controls the fight. If you turn your back and walk away, you are endangering yourself. So the correct thing to do is to give him a count. And Chris Bachelor is right on the money here. Nice take of the back there by Forrest as he heads into the clinch. Forrest very turned up again now. He's come out very aggressive. Nice knee. And again, Patrick turns. Puts him against the rope, but he's holding onto the rope, so the referee will block him. There's nothing wrong with his eye going on here, Dave. I'm not sure if it's Vaseline or, or contact. The referee will do it, though. The corner shouldn't interfere with the fighter, as Chris Bachador is saying. He's taking control of this. And, yeah, I think you're right. It probably is a little bit of Vaseline just popped into his eye. Yeah, I think it was Vaseline or tyro or maybe a mixture of the both. Lovely. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I mean, it gives them, gives them both a little bit of a breather, but Thomas Forrest was definitely on a, on a roll there. Look at that. Why oh, clash of shins, man. You heard that from here, but I like Forrest's movement. Moving up. There, and he got his kick caught. That was much better. Back to Southpaw. Patrick throwing the knee up the middle. He's getting a bit more erratic now with these two. 
Where's that measured start going? I was going to say, it certainly so, shifted from round one. Yep, we flip 180 straight into this. Patrick's on a count. That's a 10 8 round then to Forrest. Yeah, it makes a big difference on the scoring cards. Well, in a three round fight, you're fighting for a draw now. So Patrick certainly basically. needs to go heavy with the hands, go yeah. strong with the punches. Yep. Patrick needs to do something to get a count back or to, to win a round very, very big. Otherwise, he's losing. He certainly has it in him. He has the punch combinations. He's definitely got strong punches. I like the way Simon's not rushing in. I'd like to see a, a punch before that low kick. Yeah, agree with you. Forrest, very professional. Ooh. Biding his time, waiting. Missed with that one, though. And Elson Patrick was right there to offer him a nice punch in return. Big left hand from Forrest. There's that knee from Patrick. It looks like it can come right up to your chin from there, doesn't it? All right. Believe me, it can, and it has with me many times. <laughs> Elbows being exchanged from these gentlemen now. Oof. That left knee narrowly missing. Patrick using his head nicely there in the clinch. I like that. The difference with him in the clinch is that he's not using his arms very much. Simon's, you know, Simon's working for it. He's wrestling for the neck. Yeah. And that's what will be the difference with the clinch. Good spot. So how much did Patrick exhaust himself? Going a bit heavy. And, and you know from clinching, that's exhausting as well. Very much. That was and then chop the leg. Let's see how we go as we Rappery. head into the third and final round of this three-round fight. Forrest coming in with heavy, heavy hands and a low kick, but he eats a punch and hits the canvas himself. Oh! What, what an elbow, elbow from Patrick! And that's the change-up! Left elbow there, left elbow there. 10-8. Simon looking around, looking at his corner. How good does he feel after that? Well, we said he had to do something big. Oh, that left uppercut elbow. <laughs> we both winced when it came in. Oh my God. Don't blink, guys. Do not blink. It's an elbow war. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh. This is why we oh. love Muay Thai. <laughs> oh. Nice spinning back up. Two on the oh attempt. Oh my God, Two this is the crowd. Safe to say, Elson smells some blood. Yeah. And it's coming from Simon Forrest's face. We did say Simon's never in a boring fight. Patrick just being told to wait. He swung off the change that off the break there. Good spinning elbow from Patrick. I think that connected as well. Caught him. I don't know if he's cut him. Forrest has got a chin on him. He's taking some big shots, man. Knee then elbow, knee then elbow is what Patrick's being told. Simon Forrest hanging on. Let's see, you need the body, the arms drop, opens up for the elbow. Good call from the two boys. Yeah, Patrick just rushing it a little bit and he's skiffing the knee off the side as he eats an elbow of his own from Forrest. Whoa, spinning elbow. <laughs> spinning stuff missing everywhere. Look at Chris Bachelor's face. He's like, wow, he's loving it. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, we won! It's taking him. Oh my god, that's giving me a cramp in my leg. <laughs> oh man, 
Oh man, what is happening? <laughs> the crash going insane. Simon looks like he wants to set up a spinning back elbow here. <laughs> I can't watch it anymore. Hands from Patrick. Forrest waiting and waiting, stalking his man, lining it up. Big right hands coming. Clock, 45 seconds. Elbows from Forrest. That's you're, legit. You're it's legit. Patrick moaning, but you're allowed this. Big hands from Patrick again as they head into the clinch. Last 30 seconds on the clock, Dave. Oh, man. Oh, wish it was five rounds. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely won't. What a fight this is, ladies and gentlemen. Matchmaking here tonight on the Muay Thai Grand Prix has been superb. Coming up Final. to the last 10 seconds. <laughs> Who's going to finish the strongest? Oh, would you want to go anymore? They must be knackered. Oh. Wow. Wow. Can't wait to see the replays. Oh. <laughs> what a fight. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, we what a third round that was. What a great fight from both of them. Elson Patrick looks like he's having trouble with his eyesight and his eyes. He's blinking a lot. Let's just hope he's okay. He's got a little nick on his head from one of the elbows. But Forrest just going and saying, good sportsmanship there. What a fight. I said it, I said it at the beginning, Simon <laughs> Forrest is never in a boring fight. You certainly did. You hit it in that one. As we watch the replay here, double leg kick from Forrest. Comes in with heavy, heavy hands. Just off balanced himself a little bit when he threw that kick and got caught with one of the, one of the punches over the top. But seeing some of that was insane. Look oh, at that elbow! There we go. Left elbow on the inside. That, that was superb. Oosh. What an elbow. As you watch again. As we go to Peter Lowe for the official results. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let's give both of these men a massive round of applause. You're going to have to go some way to get a fight better than that this evening. Woo! And after three fantastic rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision. All three judges in agreement to your winner. In the black corner, Simon Forrest! And show your appreciation for our runner-up, Elsa Patrick! Well, congratulations to Simon Forrest and what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. That was superb. Watching the replay here again. Go on, show us again. Love it. Oosh. Big elbow there. Massive elbow. Just Smashes shows the in. strength and the determination of Simon. It's getting dropped from that. That was a flush elbow on the jaw. That was lovely. And then coming back and getting one of his own again. As we see, as we go to Peter Lowe for the next fight. 